it's late at night, and I owe you guys a doctor update. So here we go. Without further ado, I just came upstairs from my workout. Long time since you've seen me in one of these tank tops. But um, let's go where the, do the doctor said and go from there. Um, the doctor gave me a big dose of tough love, if you will. Um, he sat across from me, and he looked at me, and he goes, Donna, I'm sitting across from the shell of the blonde bombshell. Why? And I, um, told him that I've been stressed, um, worried a lot, and, um, that things could be better. And he talked with me. And he says, you have two choices in life. You can either talk it out or you can run to food. And you know that better than anybody, and that's true, I do. I'm ashamed of my gain of weight. And I promise you, before I go back in November, this weight will be off. Because I am exercising one hour for seven nights every week. No excuse. I started last night, did 50 jumping jacks, and walked a mile. Tonight, he said every accomplishment is a small accomplishment, but it's a good way in the good direction. So I, walk, <laughs> I walked 1.01 miles, I know, one big more step than the others, and did 60 jumping jacks, which is great. And what the most important thing is he sat there and he looked at me and he goes, don't answer this now. Go home, think about it, and then answer it. What motivated you in the first place? What's important? And basically, what do you want for yourself in your future? What motivated me in the first place was I wanted to be healthy. What I want for myself was to maintain my weight, and I let myself down. That's a tough pill to swallow. Um, what do I want for my future? Well, I want a man that's not ashamed of me. I want a man that <laughs> won't be... I won't be walking on eggshells worrying about what I'm saying and if it's going to offend him. Um, I want a man that most importantly understands the reasoning for this diet. And it's not just to look good in a pair of jeans. If you have polycystic ovarian syndrome, you know the struggle I'm speaking of right now. You can gain weight by simply eating double, let's say double the weight by eating just one slice of pizza or one sli hamburger with a bun. Good way to do it. Now I'm not saying that I've done that because I haven't, but what my downfall has been is double dipping with unsalted dry roasted peanuts. And I'm learning to slowly taper it off. Why? Because what matters to me most and what I want out of life is to be a wife and a mother. But I can't do that until I reach my goal again and make myself happy again. And yes, I have that dreaded age against me as long as PCOS. But the way I see it is I motivated myself beforehand to do this and I can do it again. I did ask him to go to a dietitian. He refused. And I think this is the best compliment you can give someone. He looked at me and he goes, Donna, you know why I won't send you to one? And I shook my head, no. Tears in my eyes. I said, because I'm practically begging you. And he goes, no. He goes, you didn't need one before. You don't need one now. You did an excellent job at getting where you wanted. But you got yourself there. And you remembered why it was important for you. Because you want to have your own kids. 
without the weight being a complication, without your ovaries having to worry about extra work. Trust me, look it up. I don't really want to get into all the gritty, dirty details of COS, but it leads to diabetes, which is another heartbreak. <laughs> because of the weight gain, I have to fast and sometime before November go in for a blood checkup, not only for diabetes, but for my liver. Um, you see, it can affect different parts of your body by fluctuating your weight. Also, with my high blood pressure going up and down, um, I'm putting myself at risk again to possibly going back on my medication. For those of you um, who know me best, who went back to the first video until now, I'm sorry. But I'm not only sorry for you, I'm sorry for myself that I let this happen. But you can dang sure bet that I have a fighting Irish Indian spirit. And I know what I want out of life. I want to be able to be proud of what I've accomplished again. I want to be able to say, I did this for my health. I did this for a healthy future. I did this for a future that I can see myself walking down the aisle, standing beside a man, like I said, who's not ashamed of me, who loves my YouTube videos, <laughs> every single one of them, good, bad, or indifferent, who looks at my costumes and knows that I didn't do it to show off. I did it because I never thought I would be able to fit into those costumes. And when I did, I felt unstoppable. I felt like I was on the road to finding the right guy. And not for the reasons of thinking that I just wanted him to like me for my looks. But for the reasons of, man, I accomplished something. Something that everybody told me I was never going to be able to do. I went against the grain, and I did this for no one else, but for the sake of my health and for me. That's what matters most. At this time, I have parted with the man that I was with. It was just not going to work. It was the difference of what we wanted out of life, difference in values, um, and that's okay. And I think sometimes I wonder if I'm always going to be having Mike in the back of my mind going that I'm never going to be able to overcome being second best, that no man is ever going to place me first in his life no matter what weight I am. But that's something I'm going to have to struggle with. And I'm going to have to remind myself each time that I'm downstairs working out for that one hour, what matters most. And I pray. I know the Lord sees that I'm struggling. And I know that when you struggle and you ask for His help, that he helps you. He's done it before. And I know that I have supporters out there who watch these videos, who root me on, who wants what's best for me, and wants to see my dreams and my hopes come true just as badly as I do. So with that, I'm going to close out this video saying, you're going to see another video. And it's going to be with smiles, but most importantly, a healthier and happier me. It may not be tomorrow, <laughs> because let's face it, I'll be working out and uh, working on getting me to be healthy again. But uh, in the meantime, I'm not looking to find love again. I tried that. I thought that I could... Uh, make him happy, but obviously 
it's a lot to take me on, let's be honest. <laughs> um, I just pray for the best. And, um, the best is yet to come for me and for all of you. God bless.